Hey guys, this is all streamed out. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2 with our low honor playthrough. What's going on over there? Okay. my life again well maybe one day you'll save mine or my soul <laughs> yeah i'd like that don't make fun of me oh i'm sorry anyway it wasn't a complete okay. waste of time i stole this from one of those awful men you should have it i miss her so Thank oh. you, but you were blind drunk. I was drunk, but I never forget. Oh, be well, Mr. Morgan. Okay, I gotta watch. Um, there is a you okay? There we go. There's a robbery over here. Let's do this one. It is with Sean. Your people, uh, Jacobites, are English lovers, Arthur. My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone just the same. Well... In that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. And he tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them, maybe more, but I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. All right. What the hell? Let's go check okay. it out. <laughs> Them sons of bitches think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. You just keep your cool, you hear me? Yep. Right, follow me. Whoa. Oh, come on. Wow. Okay, there we go. How far is this place? Bit of a ride, not too bad. Back of north to stretch, not far from the state line. All right. There we go. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a long nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him, you tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? 
What's that box boy is tent for then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. The fact you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I always pay me way, don't you worry. Easy. You're sure you scope this place out right? Yes, see? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. Ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? Hmm. <laughs> Bloody chaos. Did you get split off with Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. Davey was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Those bounty hunters strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. The man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. All right, that'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. All right, it's going to be off the road up ahead. Okay. Before we made that turn, there's a place that I want to come back to. Keep one of them alive to tell us where they stand. Okay. Hope you know what you're doing. So here we go. Outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. Five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, don't want no trouble. Just thought you might like to know we passed a big toffee alarm and headed this way. Now it does nothing. Coming up east. What? Where? Right ah. here. There's no barter. Here come the rest of them. Watch ah. it. They're coming out. Ah. Ah. Oh, come on. Tell me where that money stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms. If you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. We'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here. And don't look it's right here. Okay. Good work. 
in my car. I found a place, didn't I? All right. Here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right. Don't need the lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. You ever know what folks got stashed? <laughs> There's got to be other places out there like this. So we don't need any of those. Let's take the money clip. There's a stash box down here. It's a double action revolver. We go. Got a cigarette card. Senator Thaddeus Waxman. Oh, wow. Just by getting that close. I thought that's why it was hot it was because I was close to the to the fire. Excuse me. Okay, we'll take some cheese. Okay, looks like that's it. Let's loot these guys. get everything here. Okay, I didn't see the time. 4.44. Okay. I think down there is where Yeah, that's an interesting area down there. Oh wow. It's a place I don't like to be at night. It is Pleasant, founded in 1883. It is an interesting little place. Um, there we go. Let's inspect the site. OK, 
Here's that empty town I found. Okay. And it really is empty. There's something written back there. But yeah, we can't get into any of the buildings. It is It's a place that I've always I've always stopped at every playthrough. That's a stay out plague. There's Okay, we've got a cigarette card here. Yeah, there is no way to get into any of these buildings. There's no windows in here. That's as far back as the town goes. I think that's just... Yeah, that's just a rock. We can't get into the church either. Never tried looking in the church. We can't do anything with the church. Um, we've got gravestones here, so let's check the sign. So it was founded in 1883, August of 1883. September 17th, 1883, knife wound. September 17th. No exact date, but September. This one is September as well. September. September. 
September. September. September. September. In September, all 1883. Gunshot and stab wounds. So let's head over here. We can go in here. Um, I do need to eat. So this was like a schoolhouse. Um, there we go. Otis Miller and the boy from New York. We'll take this. And that will be for Jack. Take a ginseng elixir. I think that is it. There is something I believe over here. But yeah, this is a weird, interesting little place. It's called Pleasance. I've ran through here at night, and that's all I will do at night through here is, is run. It just, it's creepy. But let's see what else we have. We have a stranger up here. Okay. What the 
devil are you looking at? I'm sorry? No, I'm sorry. I'm ruined. Ruined! How so? It's a disaster. Who wants to see a woman wrangle wild animals who doesn't have any bloody wild animals? Come to America, they said. Come to the land of opportunity, they said. Sod you, Daddy, I said. I'm going to America to make it on the stage. I don't want to be in the army. Ooh. Now look at me. The old git will have a field day. I didn't really understand any <laughs> of that. I had an act. The bravest woman in the world. The animal wrangler. Watch her tame wild beasts. And you were the woman. Of course I was the bloody woman. Look at me. It's the stage. Grease paint. Tears. No one wants to see a man wrangling wild animals. And no one wants to see a woman wrangling nothing. <laughs> Can I borrow your gun? I want to shoot myself. You see, I'm buggered. What? My animals. They escaped. And now I'm... I'm buggered. What, what escaped? A priceless Ranjaniki tiger from the slopes of mm -hmm. the heights. A fantastic, elusive zebra from the plains of Ongo Bongo by the shores okay. of Popo. And a magnificent lion from the grasslands of Tanganyika. Yeah, I see your problem. They're pretty hard to come by around here. Listen, friend. Help a fellow out, would you? I'm beyond desperate. If you see any of them, will you bring them back here? If I see a tiger or a lion or a zebra just roaming around. Exactly. If, well, I believe the zebra's up near Lonard Salt. Distinctive creature that he is. I'll make it worth your while. All right. Madam. It's bloody Margaret, not Madam. Okay. Margaret. Mistress of fucking danger. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna do these ones. Um, we're gonna find all three of her animals today. So we have the zebra. Pretty far away still, I guess. There we go. Right around here. That's a mule. What they done to you? <sighs> Got you. Hey, now. Come on. We are riding a mule dressed as a zebra. Boy. 
Okay. So we have the zebra. We're riding. Well, it's a mule. We're riding the mule. There we go. Right up here. Good grief! You found him! Our zebra! <laughs> well, you can call him that. <laughs> Although he's as much a zebra as you are a lady animal wrangler. Oh dear, you're missing the point, aren't you? It's an illusion, a trick of the eye to bamboozle the senses. Confound comprehension. Hoodwink your audience. Hoodwink? Our audiences? <laughs> Dear boy, don't be so dreadfully literal. No one will pay for the truth. They only pay for deception. <laughs> the allure of the stage, dreams and reality. <laughs> what is the greater conjuring trick? Lassoing some poor beast? on the plains of mumbo-jumbo land and shipping it here so it can dance the polka or turning there in the glare of those arc lamps something mundane into something extraordinary it's the difference between prose and poetry it's alchemy we're selling dreams dear boy well as long as, as, long as you don't pay me with tickets to your show uh, yes. Well, it's not everyone's cup of tea. And speaking of my payment... Of course, of course. I shall make it worth your while. Uh, but, um, first, we shall need the whole menagerie back before we can think about that. My assistant's gone for the time. Okay. Tiger? Yes, yes. And taken our remaining lion in case it could lend a paw. They're down there on Caliga Way. Please. I hate to ask. All right. I'll see what I can do. All right. <sighs> So let's go and do the next one. It shouldn't be too far, I don't think. Okay, yep, we'll follow this road for now. There we go. Where is she? Hey, mister. Oh. Miss. Howdy, mister. Did, uh, did you lose a tiger? Yeah, you found one? <clears throat> nah, I found your caravan down the way. Uh, Margaret said that you might need a hand. Oh, he weren't wrong. That tiger's missing. I sent our best lion out to find him, and uh, now he's missing too. It is a right old predicament. Your lion from uh, Timbuktu, weren't it? From Valentine, I think. He might be more of a kind of dog than a lion, but in a certain light, a feller could never tell. Of course. Which way'd he go? Into them shrubs over there. Okay. 
Why don't you hop up on the wagon and I'll see if I can find his track. Okay. That first set of shrubs, that's where I lost sight of it. I got it. Got the trail. These are paw prints. Okay. Looks like like blood to me. Shit. What's this? All right. I found your dog. X dog X line. Hey boy. Oh, where's the rest of them? I think a cougar took him. Oh, that'd be stripey. And I always thought they got along. <laughs> your tiger is a wild cat? Uh-huh. What else? You still need it back? Oh, yes, sir. She's our star attraction. Well, Let's hope it wants the other half of its dinner. Okay. The other half? Really? I'm gonna put him in your wagon. You find somewhere to hide. Oh. Well, behind that log then. Okay. Rubs <clears throat> up. Stay down. She won't be too far away. I went out to find a tiger. Cougar, you mean? And I end up losing a lion. Yeah, a dog. Ain't having any luck. Well, if that's what you're dealing with, you didn't have any luck to begin with. <laughs> Cougars and dogs. Hey, it ain't what you got in this life. It's what you make of it. Well, that's very wise of you. Especially when you're lacking zebras and tigers. Mm-hmm. Hey, keep your head down. It's coming. Look, I really don't think she'll eat the dog. Like I said, they was friends. Shut it. Wow. Oh, well, I guess she's real hungry. She's feral. I'm locking her in. Okay. There's two out of the three. Yeah. Oh, I don't know if that 
that'll ever happen. Yeah. We lost the main road around here when the dust was up. Be careful, you might get wrecked too. Okay. You know, the only thing to do in a dust storm is wait it out. Mr. Margaret's a lot of things, but best female navigator ain't one of them. I uh, imagine you're right about that. We was tearing around here, looking for any kind of landmark when over we go, whole caravan toppled. We found each other and some shelter, but when the wind died down, the animals was gone. Uh, now they're back. Some of them, at least. Thanks to you. Aw, uh, you would have managed it yourself. I just helped you along. If you ever want to get in the sideshow business, I'm sure there'd be a place for a fellow like you. I'll leave the professional theatrics to better women than me. <laughs> there it is, the caravan. Couldn't miss him if you wanted to. Mr. Mark? There we go. I see you found each other. Sure did, Mr. Margaret. Jolly good, jolly good. You know, tarring and feathering a donkey is one thing. I beg your pardon? It's grease paint. Makeup. But playing dolls dressed up with a wild animal, you're gonna want to be a lot more careful. Strappy eight king, Mr. Margaret. I saw her do it. I always thought they got along. Oh, she liked him. Mm -hmm. fine. She licked her chops and asked for seconds. Hey, speaking of which, you got any more word on that uh, runaway lion, or are you gonna pay me for these misfits? Look, I'm well aware that we're not Royal Command Performance Material. Daddy, you were right, goddamn you! But a cow barn in Rhodes is hardly dreary, bloody lane. You got any word on the lion? Yes, yes, I've got word on the lion. Shit is the word. Someone saw him near Emerald Ranch. As you know, we're lately very short on lions. So, I'd be very grateful. All kinds of grateful. There's only one kind of grateful I care about. So long, mister. Be a dear and fix me a gin. There we go. Let's hop on glue. And let's head to Emerald Ranch. Really, I need to eat again? Whoa. Okay. It's a dog in there. A, a dog? Now, you'll excuse me. It's... yeah. What? I said step aside. Okay. Didn't look like no. Come here, boy. Let's go.
Here we go. That is a real lion. I missed those first two shots, that's why. Okay, come on. Well, let's take the trophy. He shot the thing. Is it dead? I pray that thing's a goner. Whoever owned that beast got some answering to do. Okay. Let's head back out. That was not very good. I can't believe I missed those first couple shots. be too far This time the animal was actually real, you moron. Steady on. I clearly stated that we were looking you for You haven't clearly stated no. anything in all the time I've known you. That could have been a goose for all I knew. A goose will hardly get them to their feet for the curtain call. Bring on the king of the beasts, on the other hand, and they feel the roar. And they, well, look about as surprised as you do. What have you done with him, if you don't mind me asking? I killed him. He's dead. Bloody hell. This is Ramo, boy. It was him or me. Now, pay me. Yes, of course, of course. I have just the thing. And what a treasure it is. You're a lucky man, sir. Very lucky man. From the mines of El Dorado, as green as the rainforest, as clear as the Amazon, and as dear as all the gold in the Andes, one man's labor is but a trifle compared to this jewel's true value. Wait! I shouldn't. What would Daddy say? Your Daddy ain't here, and we had a deal. Yes, of course. A promise is a promise. Sally, get the wagons moving. Ain't we waiting for the line? He's in the great hunting ground in the sky. Good day, sir, and thank you. But we really must be getting along. Yeah, I won't keep you. So long. <laughs> So long, Mr. Morgan. Next time you see me, I'll be topping the bill, I promise. Okay. There we go. We got an emerald. So let's... Go back to the map. Um... We are going to hold off on Albert Mason. And... We 
could do a bounty. Or not a bounty, a um loan collection. There we go. I think we'll do the loan collection. And then we'll go and we'll see Dutch. Yep. Then we'll go back to camp to end the episode. So I really do like that Margaret story. Um, like Lemoyne Raiders and I knew exactly what that one was so we are going to go to the Fence on our way into roads. There is a fence up here. Let's see what that emerald is worth. Worth fifty. We have all these valuables. Um And I think if we keep, if we keep these, I think they all go to John. I'm not sure though. But let's go collect the loan. It's the Undertaker's Apprentice, and he's right here. Still don't look quite right. Start picking out a box for yourself. If you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. Why? I don't. I I need more time. Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I mean, I'll get you your money, but, uh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you're correct, but, uh, I ain't doing this myself. Come back. 
This, it, it ain't exactly right. What we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier now. <coughs> the church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well, the morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. So it's the first Church of Rhodes. Okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. Herbert Grimshaw is the pastor. Jesus! Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Oh, damn it. There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. Okay. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. So we're watching the gate. He is going to dig that up. Hello there, sir. Uh, I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time to. The place was in need of some care and attention. Okay. There they are. care very much what they are we're looking for some privacy get the hell out of this churchyard are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher you hear this fella i heard him all right we're gonna lick you bastard <laughs> Grab his hat. Okay. All right, well, here's your payment. Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Well, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Can't believe it's come to this. All right, well, uh, I'm out of here. Okay. That's it. Decided not to take, not to loot them. Just 
didn't feel the need to. Okay, we'll hitch our horse right here. I don't think you got any idea about the land you walk in. Okay, um, the guy I'm looking for isn't here. go that'll do everything we need of course of course oh and here is my dear friend arthur callahan boy is a hunter boy is a killer arthur you've met but not been introduced to mr oh i'm so sorry sheriff Great. how are you doing sir i'm fine tough business you boys had we did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that. But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still. Don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. <laughs> I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. Now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though, and it is cost in this county its good name and the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands. Mm -hmm. And people waste time with the temperance movement. <laughs> Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Okay. Archibald, how are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, fair I'm enough. Going to remind you, there's a chain of command here. There is. Dang straight, there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead, and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey. Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course. Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners, 
Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty sure you did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tech. <laughs> Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. Look, I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well, that's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole a fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bed rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. I might be able to grab something off my horse here. You see that wagon? I can't grab anything off of him. I swear they got Keep your eyes open. You could try washing once in a while. No. Oh, this must have happened recently. Mm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've heard yeah. of them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. I can grab my my hat. There we go. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor feller. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this hmm. year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellers in my experience. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. They're right again here. To drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I would. Okay, here we go. We are approaching. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone... Find here, we bring in alive under 
Understood. Round them up, then take this operation down for good. Come on. Let's see what we're doing. All right. Tell you boys, what did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. How handle this? Well, the way I said actually let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take the left. I've always gone right, so these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fine idea. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it. Deputy Williamson. Okay, he's already up there, okay. Trust up. Don't see him. Oh, right there. Okay. Get him to the wagon.
just a second. Got it. Have a little bit of fun there with that. Oh, come on. I think we got him. You should have cooperated. I don't see any more. Do you? No. Let's find Dutch and get out of here. Fine by me. Over this way. No, that's where the horses are. Easy enough. But me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster, he used to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. Come on, you degenerate, no good, white trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. <laughs> You've always been a piece of Okay. Come on, move We have a life right. on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we, are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Should I stash this somewhere near camp? Yes, show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always? From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. It's got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. 
That's the spirit. Okay. On my word. Set. Go. All right. We are racing Dutch back to camp. He doesn't cut corners either. So I can cut all the corners I want to, need to. There we go. Oh, we're going to beat him by a long shot. There we go. We won. so much <laughs> well time is a bastard when you get to be my age well you'll know that better than anything be well i had fun with you today you're i was gonna say you're like a son to me but you're more than that okay So before we end the episode, there's a couple of things that I want to do. Micah. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to get a little bit of a shave. Take it back to a three. Okay, and let's change our clothing as well um no coat i think we'll keep the shirt Yeah, we'll keep it black. We'll do the work pants. So we are all black.
open collar boots are always over the pants okay There we go. So this is our new look, and we are All you. a sheriff. All of you get to work. This is fine country. Rich country. So get to work, all of you. We can do well and fine here for a while. They will not think we came this way to get to work. So, we still what do you think? What do you mean? About start in this way. Okay, we are going to see what happens with Dominos here. Okay, it's Hosea. I don't want to play Hosea. We do not need to play with Hosea. Um... But yes, that is the end of today's episode. I want to thank everybody for watching. My name is All Stream That. Hit the like button if you like this type of content. It lets me know that you like this particular type of content and would like to see more. Hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications to be notified every time I post a video. And follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Discord. Links will be in the description below. Have a wonderful day.